Hello, welcome to Sips with Chips. I'm Sip Mendes, and today we're going to make a little pull around uh, children's toy. This one, I make two basic toys one that looks like a little dog, a little Scotty dog named Max, and one that looks like a uh, hedgehog. And here are the wheels that we're going to use. These are the ones I made on the, the wood lathe. They have the little recess here, the little uh, hub here that keeps them from rubbing against the body of the, uh, the toy. The first thing we're going to do is mark the outline on our block of wood. This block of wood is uh, 8 inches by 5 inches, almost 5 inches. And this is made of American walnut. This walnut I found on the side of a, the street. It was a um, dresser. And uh, when I looked on the outside, it, was, it had been painted over with this shiny plastic like paint but on the inside you can see that it's American walnut and if you can see the date on here it says that this is from December 31st and it looks like 1941 so this is old wood and we're gonna recycle it and use it again so here we're gonna put Max on here and we'll go around him in pencil and then we'll cut him out on the band saw I have my bandsaw set on high and I have the uh, guard about a quarter of an inch above the wood. The wood that I'm using for this is about uh, one and a half inches thick. And so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that.
on his nose. jigsaw here to get rid of some of the imperfections. There's supposed to be a little, his tail is supposed to meet here and I've got a little edge left that I can get rid of with the sun. His ears are just one big piece, and I need to make that into two separate pieces. So I'll cut from here. This is the center. And I'll just cut from here over and round off his ears. Here's more definition. The tail will do similarly, but we'll cut this to the outside. So instead of having a big wide tail, we'll have a pointed tail. And we'll put that back on the sander too. that on the sander real quick. So I sanded the tail a little bit to make it a little bit look more like a single piece. His ears I'll have to file between them and shape it. So eyebrows and I'll also have to sand by hand and maybe a little bit in here. So I'm going to use a little piece of sandpaper here and uh, wrapped around the stick to get rid of some of these, these um, blade marks. So they come right out. This is just 150 sandpaper. Top of his nose is not too bad. This has a nice flat spot here. So I can now move that over here to the other side and pinch these together. Sand that off a little bit. That looks much better. This is um, not bad. Where his eyes are supposed to be, we'll just use the edge. Get him 
And then I'll have a sharp edge here, and I can use that to get right into this brown, this eyebrow. Now, I usually drill two little holes there for his eyes. And here on his chest, we'll do the same thing. Sand it smooth, get rid of any, any little splinters. It's a six tooth bandsaw blade, and it um, leaves little lines, but they're not too difficult to remove. Seems like that. Much better. Okay, I'm ready to give Max some eyeballs, so I'm going to use my scratch off and pinpoint where I want his eyes to be. Oh, and that's that bad. That's almost big enough already. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to drill them out to about a 3 16 and you really got to go slow on this, you don't really want them too deep. There you go. Next, I need to give Max some wheels, and what I have to do is figure out whereabouts to put the... Uh, the axles and these are not exactly in the, in the best place because I really want them to be more in this direction here so I probably want them to be right about there and I want the other one to also be this one's in the yeah that one's pretty good position there so I want him to be closer to there Okay. So whatever distance this is, that's the distance I want over here. And I want this one to be about here. And I want this one to be right about here. And so the easiest way to transfer those points is to the scratch off. Make a hole there. And mark this one here. Now I'm going to drill a uh, three-eighths hole all the way through. And I might drill it out to, to a sixty-fourth of an inch uh, larger so that the uh, dowel rods turn easily. That or I, I have can sand these down till they fit loosely. I'm about ready to drill the holes for the axles on, on Max. But I'm going to set my drill bit. I'm going to set my drill bit depth to where it just goes through to the other side. That way, when it goes, when it uh, gets to the end, I can flip it over and um, drill a nice clean hole from the opposite side. So here we go. And it's a three-eighths drill bit, and I'm actually on the slowest speed on my drill press. the end of that one and I can see where the hole was right there that'll give me a nice clean hole the 
this side here we'll do the same thing. So I'm ready to give Max some wheels and what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of glue on the inside of one of the wheels you know. So and I'm gonna swish that glue around in here. I do not want any glue on the hub because it just might stick. Then on the axle we'll do the same thing. We'll put a little bit on the end of the axle. Okay. And we're going to push it into the uh, wheel and make sure that it comes out the other side. Because what I want to do is grind it off, sand it off on the sander. So I'm going to push it through and I'm going to twist it. Make sure it goes through to the other side. Woo! Might be a little bit much. So I wanted to do, come out just a tiny little bit. To put on the wheels, what we're going to do is this is um, two layers of, of uh, cardstock. Together they might be a little bit more than a sixteenth of an inch thick. I'll put them between the, the axles. That way when I push on the hubs, the hubs will hit the um, the cardstock and won't go on any further and will leave me a little bit of an air gap there. So let me put some, some uh, glue on the wheel. And this one I want to put uh, a little bit extra maybe. But um, I don't want any to come out on this side, and it shouldn't because I'm pushing in the other direction. We'll put a little bit here on the uh, axle. We don't want to put very much because it will push down towards the body. Okay, there's that one. We'll do the same with the other one. Put this guy on. Okay, and and remove our cardstock, there should be plenty of room for turning. So Max has been drying for a while now and I'm going to get ready to cut these off. And this is one of those flush cutting saws. That's flush, F-L-U-S-H, not flesh. So we'll take those over to the belt sander, sand that one more time, and we'll be all done. So there's Max. I went ahead and uh, ran those across the belt sander so it'll be nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, just mineral oil, give it a coat of mineral oil to give, give it some, bring out the color and uh, make be safe for kids. And this, oh yeah, this really darkens it up nicely. Let's see how nice and dark he's going to get bring up that walnut color. So now that Max is all soaked with oil, we'll start removing the excess. Make him presentable. We don't want any drips. See the wheels are spinning much easier. Oh, 
Okay, so there's Max. It's all cleaned up. A nice stripe. Rolls real good. Well, if you enjoyed this video, click on like and don't forget to subscribe.